Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the time delay trigger. This is a really easy to use standalone single output prop controller or trigger. Over here you have the DC jack for input. This can take 12 to 24 volts DC. Down here this is the isolated input terminal. You have the negative and positive which can be used to send power to a trigger or sensor that you're using. It can also power the time delay trigger. The C here, this is the common terminal, and then input one. Right next to it, there's this jumper that you can move over to put it into continuous loop mode. On the right side, you have the outputs. It's a relay output, so you have the common terminal, the normally open terminal, and the normally closed terminal. Down here, these two buttons, these are used to program the controller. So the delay button programs how long the delay is, and then the on programs how long it's on. So the basic function for this controller is it gets triggered or in continuous loop mode, a programmable delay happens, and then the relay turns on. And then that the amount of time that's on is also programmable. So here we have a really basic setup for the time delay trigger. We've got power using the DC jack and an LED hooked up to the relay. So this might look a little complicated, but I'm going to walk you through it. On the negative terminal here, we have that coming over to the common terminal of the relay. Then the positive terminal, we have jumpered over to the C. So the way the isolated inputs work is between C and a number, you have to have 5 to 24 volts DC. So through our button, we have that connected to the negative terminal. So when we push this, since C is jumper to the positive, we'll have 12 volts connected to input one. Then the LED is just connected over to the positive as well. Since this is a relay, when it turns on, C and normally open will be connected. Right now, C and normally closed are connected. So we have a green light, which means it's just in standby. If we trigger this, this will start flashing, so now it's in the delay. You'll hear the relay and the LED turns on. So if we wanted to change that, we can hold delay. When the LED turns blue, you can release and it will start recording time. So now it's flashing about once per second, so you can use that for timing. When you reach the amount of time, just push delay again. You can do the same exact thing for on. Now when I release this, the relay will turn on so you can visually see what is happening. Same thing, once you reach the amount of time desired, just press on again. And then now when it's triggered, it'll go into the delay for however long you recorded. and then it'll turn on for however long you recorded the on for. If you want this to continuously loop without an external trigger, just take this little jumper, pull it off, and move it over. And you can see it started to go, so now this will continuously delay, then be on, then delay. We're really excited about this product. We think it has a lot of potential. 